Hey guys, and welcome to this new LP I'm doing. This is called The Sims, or, <laughs> this is called The Sims 4. It's called, it's in The Sims 4, and it's called The Differences in the Family Tree. Now, I thought this one was pretty interesting when I was looking for some new ones to do, since I know some of you guys were a little bit upset that I don't do enough of The Sims 4. So I'm trying to incorporate some more of The Sims 4. Now, this one is a bit different than anything I've ever done before, except for I've done one thing in The Sims 3 that's kind of close to this. And if any of you guys watch it, it's called the I'm a Lover Challenge. Now, it's only the same in the aspect of each generation has certain things that they have to complete. Um, kind of like my Disney Legacy, I guess, as well in The Sims 3 and my Princess Challenge. Okay, I've done a few LPs with the same thing, but it's not the same as this and you're going to understand why in just a second. So, first off, if you don't know this challenge, starting out, you have to create a character and move them into a small isolated lot. Well, I chose the one that I could classify to be the most isolated and, you know, from where we're living you can tell we live near the goths and um, we're kind of in that area now the first generation that you always get like a little quote for each generation if you know I've done this before it says I always wanted to be a farmer there is a tradition of that in my family um, so what happened is your family was always into the farming deal. They spent the days working hard and asked for their children to do the same. So when you turned 18, your parents surprised you with your own plot of land to continue on tradition. And having always been one to want to impress the folks, you begin creating your own small garden, dedicating your time to that rather than dealing with a dreadful nine to five suit and tie job. So as you know, we're going to be doing a lot of gardening in this LP, which I like the gardening in The Sims 4. I think it's one of my favorite skills to get up there. And I think this will be interesting because we get to do a lot with it. So first off, my Sim that I created had to have a nature aspiration and they do. Um, we're not able to get a job at all in this generation either. Um, she or he, whichever I chose, I'm not going to let you know yet, um, has an aspiration that does not require her to have a job at all and it'll be pretty easy to complete when you find out what we have to do. So for this generation, we have to grow a garden with one of every plant available Um we have to get married to a sim that has the trait, loves the outdoors, and we cannot woohoo with this person before we get married. We have to have one boy and one girl without adopting at all. Um, my sim has to master the gardening skill. Now for the spouse, it, on each generation it gives you optional things that you can do. And because I like to make things a little bit tougher, I am going to do each of the optional asper um optional choices which is to have your spouse master the fishing skill and to catch every type of fish so we're going to be completing the fishing and the gardening um the gardening uh collections with these two sims so i'm going to show you my sim and let's get into this all right so this here is my sim and her name is harmony blackwell and uh I made her look kind of like a farmer, I guess. I was thinking about doing a guy, and then I thought, no, I won't because I want um, I want the guy to do the fishing and the girl to do the gardening. I don't know why, I just really want that. And I've had some guys start out my LPs too lately, so I feel like it's okay to have a girl. I feel like sometimes... You guys probably think all I do is girls, and that's not true. I just, I think she looks cute. I used some of the new stuff from the ret outdoor retreat as well, so I thought that was kind of cool. And I gave her these little pigtails uh, hairstyle, which is custom content, but I thought it made her look a lot like a farmer. So that's kind of where I was going with that. So I gave her the freelance botanist and... Um, for this, she has to grow plants and become an expert gardener, which she has to do anyways. Um, so she has to plant something three times, weed or water plants ten times at this point, and um, she hasn't started it at all. She's not going to be getting a job, like I said, so we're going to have to be living off the land. Now, we have 6,935 simoleons, and you'll see why we have that much still. And I've already built the house for her, so that's how much we're going with. 
She doesn't have any skills. She doesn't know anyone. She doesn't have anything in her inventory. But she loves the outdoors, is a loner, good, and collector. Now, I did make her a young adult, and she only has 20 days until she ages up to an adult. I It doesn't say you have to use the short or the normal lifespan. So if I really need to, I can always just decide to... Um, either make this shorter, make it longer, whatever I want to do, because it doesn't say it has to be normal, so I'm guessing you can do whatever you want. Um, so that's what I gave her for traits. The reason I gave her loner is because right now she's going to be focusing just on planting, so this will help with the social need not decaying so quickly. Um, loves the outdoors, you're going to understand that, especially because she's going to be doing a lot of gardening and stuff that's good for her, and a good sim. I wanted to give her something, you know, just that, you know, could help her maybe meet some people that are not like horrible and collector comes with her um, aspiration so that's that and then this is her needs now like I said I did complete making her house and this is what I've done I've just kind of made this like this kind of like outdoorsy kind of thing and yes I use a lot of the um, outdoor retreat items and that's kind of why I'm okay with doing this LP now so I put out the campfire and I put a little chair for her to use. I did put a trash can just so she can get rid of plates and stuff if she uses it. Um, she's got an air mattress. All, the only lighting she has are these little torches or lanterns on the ground and over here. Um, she has one little couch area and um, she has a grill, a sink here. This is a little cooler that comes with it. This is the shower and then down in here in the walls is where I put her one toilet and that's all she's getting. <laughs> that's it. That's what we're living off of. So if we want, you know, something fun to do, we're going to have to go out and either find something in the world that's fun for us to do or something like that. We're not really going to be doing much here. So that's kind of what I thought for her and I thought it was kind of nice and um, I think it works for her. I think it'll work for the challenge. It kind of makes the challenge more realistic that she was just kind of placed here and it was only to farm. And it kind of throws her back where she has to kind of camp all the time. I thought about giving her a tent, but then I decided on the air mattress because I think it'd be easier to get an air mattress out here than it would be to get a whole tent and set it up and everything. Yeah, the tent would be more of like the camping lifestyle, but I figured, you know what, this probably would be fine and no one's probably going to have a fit about it. So I'm just going to start looking for some collectibles for her because she does need to start her garden as soon as possible and I don't know what we can find here in this town. Now, I don't normally live here in this town, or in this part of the town anyways, so I don't know what's here to harvest, if anything, so we may not have anything to harvest. So today may be a day that we just go out and kind of look for our future husband. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, because I'm not seeing anything to harvest anyways, so I say we just go ahead and travel and we can come back here later. Um, now, I'm not going to be eating off of this lot because she's got the fridge. This is like a quick, you know, you get your quick meals and stuff here. But you can also go ahead and grill up whatever she wants here as well. Yeah, she can't put it away, so that's kind of a bad thing. But she can do whatever she needs. So, I'm going to go ahead and have her travel. And she's a loner, so she just got something done, which is to be alone. Which is why I gave her that, because she'll uh -huh. pop that in a lot, and she'll be able to do it pretty quickly. So that'll be nice. Alright. So, I'm going to go over here to the park. <clears throat> I think that might be the best place for her to start meeting some guys. And I'm not going to spend my time introducing myself to all the girls and everything. I just need her to introduce yourself to guys because as you know one of the rules was we cannot adopt so we do need to just meet guys and we need to get to know their traits now I don't really see anyone here so that's kind of a downfall but hopefully some people pop in who's this Gary he's an elder I don't really want to go for an elder right now I would like someone a little bit younger um, who's that Russell okay let's go meet Russell let's go give him a friendly introduction and see what we can do there May not be somebody that I'm interested in, but who knows? He's already fishing, so that kind of makes me feel like maybe. <laughs> maybe, because he's already fishing. So it's like, if you love the outdoors, you could be the perfect husband. He is an adult, so he could be almost an elder, and I wouldn't know. Um, but at least we got something going for him. 
All right, I'm gonna speed her up until she gets over here, cause I do want her to meet him. All right, here we go. Mm, we don't really want to talk to Cassandra. We want to talk to you. So so. Fuba Torka. Washinoi. You want to tell a joke? All right, go ahead and be funny. <clears throat> tell a joke about vampires. Oh, you guys are gonna. You guys are gonna cloud gaze. Okay. That's fine. If we could just learn his traits, like, pretty quickly, that'd be nice. Stranger danger. <laughs> um. Alright. Speed you guys up through this. You guys could be here a while. Sometimes it goes for a really long time. Sometimes it doesn't. Really hard to tell. Okay, come on. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be here a while. They're gonna be here a while. Alright, she's got the good lesson, okay. Alright, so he's not evil, so that's good. Um. Okay. You guys are gonna do this forever, aren't you? Um, why don't you get to know him? Oh, Reebsda. Reebsda. He's a perfectionist. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, go ahead and... That's what I say. And then let's try and enthuse about the outdoors. Which she wants to do. And let's get to know him some more. I guess she can't. I'm give him a hug. All we know is that he's a perfectionist at this point in time. That's all we know. So we need to know all three of his traits to know. Do out the outdoors. Give him a hug. That's what I say. Uh, we need to get to know him. Bum, bum, bum. I guess we can't get to know him anymore. I don't know. Weird. Alright, so let's see. You want to catch a fish? I don't really want to spend time doing things that we don't need to do. Um, can you get to know him? Gossip. Let's see. Um... <laughs> Share a secret. Go ahead and <laughs> express your admiration. Use out the outdoors some more. Oh, I don't think he loves the outdoors because she did something like that and he didn't pop it didn't pop in. But I'm just gonna see. Um tell him an inside joke. Share a secret. Deep conversation. I need to get to know him. And it's like you want a Zomax? Huh? <laughs> it's not even Ninja. here. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, she got the comedy <laughs> skill. Not worried about that. All we know is that he's a perfectionist. <laughs> and he's romantic. Okay. Um, talk about your dreams. Discuss your interests. Who's out the outdoors some more. Deep conversation. Um, ask about his day. Discuss world peace. Um, let's see. Tell him an engaging story. You guys are already good friends. That's fine. I wish we could find out that last trait. It's like he's... Okay, he's just good. Okay, so this is not someone that we can go for. Alright, so let's keep looking then. Well, we've at least got a friend out of it. That's all that matters. You're an elder. You're an elder. Yep. 
Oh, unfortunately. Okay, and you are a girl. <laughs> that doesn't help me. Um, girl, girl, child. Okay, you're an adult. You have white hair? Yep, I guess so. Alright, give him a friendly introduction. Let's see if this guy works. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Come on. She is taking her sweet time. Alright, and it, give this guy a friendly introduction as well. Go ahead and get to know him. <laughs> oh, oh. What? Oh. I have no idea. Ask what to say. <laughs> Go ahead and <laughs> get to know. Steve you can get to know this guy as well. Oh, and Bora. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, want to get to know you. <laughs> unfortunately. He's gloomy. And he's good. Alright. Go ahead and brighten his day. You can go ahead and enthuse about the outdoors with him. Then go ahead and friendly enthuse out the or out about the outdoors with him as well. I think his hair is supposed to be blonde, but for some reason it's not. His hair and his beard are two different colors. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> All right, it's not. I don't know. It might not pop in. Whoa, pink hair. <laughs> pink hair. All right, how's it going? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Good, gloomy. Okay. Heartfelt compliment. Okay, well, they're gonna watch this, I guess. I don't know. Stargate or Cloud Gaze together, more friendly. I just really want to get to know these people. I don't think we know much about them. Just that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's a teen. Okay, never mind. I was like, he's kind of much better looking than these two, but. Huh. Again, it's just about the trait. It's not about the... I mean, you want a good-looking guy who likes the outdoors. No, don't get me wrong. But I think that when you use this enthuse about the outdoors thing, it should pop in. Like, if he had that trait, I think it would pop in. Um, You could tell him a joke if you want to. We could just try and just see. I don't know how far we're going to get with that, but we could try. Once we find one person, it's probably going to be who we're going to go for, to be honest. Luca Silverman. Okay, Luca, you're not that bad looking. All right. How about you? Zarf Somzo, Quink. And like I said, we can always change hair. We can always change, you know, face, like, facial hair and things like that. Um, I mean, I'm not going to go into changing, like, their facial features or anything like that, so... That would have to be something that we we know about. Okay, before I keep going, I do want to look, though. I think there is a reward where you can learn their traits faster, I believe. Um, uh, observant Sims. Learn the traits of others just by meeting them. Okay, so we need to get that. For 500 points, we need to do that. So we need to do some of this stuff. She wants to talk about the dr her dreams. So talk about your dreams. <laughs> Uh, she wants to catch a fish. <laughs> Once we get that, we can learn their traits just by meeting them, and that'll be much better. And we won't have to spend so much time talking to people. Just li literally walk up to them, say hi, and that'll be good. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Describe a new idea. What do you want to do? Play an instrument? Alright, discuss your interests. Share a secret. Um... Cool. More friendly. Uh, discuss world peace. 
Rockstar. Yibs. I'm gonna try and do some of the ones that she has that have like her trait things next to them, so I can see if he's got any of those traits. Um, but I'm really thinking when you do those, if it doesn't pop in, you're kind of like screwed, you know. So that's fine. Alright, and she is getting hungry, so I probably should get her to get home. But who else is over here? Alright. Go ahead and introduce yourself to this guy. And who's this? Cash. We'll give you a friendly introduction as well. Alright, they're good friends. We only know that one trait about him, though. So it's like... I'm not sure we're gonna find anything else more about him. Ooh. Jacoby, you're kind of cute, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Tell him an inside joke. Uh, get to know him. Um, you could enthuse about the outdoors. Want to do the same thing with this guy. Enthuse about outdoors. Get to know. Okay, you've got like three different color hairs going on. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright, what's this? Enthuse about outdoors. Alright, we just know he's good. We don't know anything about him, and we don't know anything about him. We need to get to know this guy. Get to know. Out of all of them I've seen so far, I think Jake B is probably the best. Tessa. Okay, come on. <laughs> Alright, he's a bookworm. Okay. Cool. He's a geek. Alright. Um, more friendly. Enthuse out the outdoors with both of them. And see how that goes. See if it pops in anything for them. Speed you up. Okay. <laughs> All right, then go ahead and use the bathroom. All right, so we didn't find anybody today, but it doesn't mean we aren't going to. I think, like I said, the best one so far is Jake B, but he's a geek, which means he would have to use the... Well, Russell was good, but we know all of his traits, and none of them are acceptable. Um... So, Jake B probably is my best bet at this point for looks-wise, but I don't know about traits. So, that could be, like, you know, the one thing that holds us back. But I am going to get her to go home. We're going to go ahead and, um, we're going to go home and get some food. And we're going to see what we can do from there. Wait, 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 before you go. Who's this? Nash. All right, let's introduce ourselves to Nash. Hold up. Introduce yourself to him. Go ahead, and we'll get to know him, and we will, um, yeah, we'll get to know him. Where are you going? Don't go anywhere, buddy. And I know Eric, I don't think he loves, I don't think he loves the outdoors. I think it's his father-in-law that does. All right, get to know this guy. Go ahead, and, um, can you enthuse all the outdoors with him? All right, hold on, hold on. He's a glutton. Okay. I was actually going to make her a glutton. How funny is that? Wait, what was that? Um, oh, that girl's pretty. I love her. All right. Um, do an impression. Ask about his day. He's not a teen, is he? No, he's an adult. It's just like not letting us do anything with him. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Um... Huh? All right. Well, you can go home. Don't be weepster. By Zashel Macaroo. He's got the criminal career. Okay, I really don't want to go with the criminal career. Um, evil is not going to be a helpful trait for us. Loves the outdoors is definitely something that we're going to definitely need. Um, she's got it, so it should be something that they share an interest in. That's kind of why I gave her it. I'm pretty sure if you use those interactions on people if they have that trait I'm pretty sure that they pop in that they have it I'm not 100% sure so don't hold me to it but go ahead and make up some make up some grilled fruit why not you want to catch a fish you want to plant something and you want to play an instrument well the whole point is is if you want something 
we could always buy it for you. It's just going to have to be something that can go outside. So, or make sense in this environment. So if she really wanted to play the guitar, I mean, I don't see why not. All right, what was that? What happened? Criminal presence. All right, grab a serving. And I don't think you can put it in there. I don't think that's like a possibility. Although it should be. It really should be, but you can't. So unfortunately, you pay all that money for them to pretty much not be able to put anything in it. But uh -huh. I got it because she can get like a, qu a quick meal out of it. And that was kind of what I was going oh, so for. <laughs> so if they had like the little university fridges, that would have been cool. Or at least let us put stuff in the mega cooler. There might be the, the more expensive version you might be able to put stuff in. But I'm probably guessing not. I mean, I could buy it and see, but I'm thinking not. So it's like, I don't know, probably not. Alright, so let's go ahead and let her go to bed because she's exhausted and I'm going to just let her sleep for the rest of her night. Now, I don't think this gives you the best quality sleep, so she is going to sleep a bit longer than if I bought her a really nice bed. But again, it's the whole point of we're living outside. I wanted there to be like an out outhouse, but there wasn't. It was like you could only take a shower from this thing. At first, I thought this kind of was like an all-in-one, but it's not. It's just a shower, so... Go ahead and take your shower. And, um, is this still good? Can we still? No, it's spoiled. Oh, man. All right, you want to catch a fish still? All right, let's go catch a fish. I mean, I want to get her some points. I do need to get her going on the gardening skill, but I think we'll be okay with that. I don't think it's going to take us too long to do that. She's got, like I said, she's got quite a few days. 19 days. Plus, then she's got her adulthood, so that's fine. <laughs> She's literally using an outdoor shower, which is kind of funny when she lives outside. It's just perfect timing that I started this now, after that came out. But we at least got to meet some people yesterday. That would be, that's good. All right, so let's get this done. We'll get her the fishing, or the fish. Then she wants to plant something and hug someone. Hopefully she'll still want to hug someone by the time we get to that. Because that would be pretty easy to do. She does need to eat. So we do need to get her to do that. Did you catch a fish? No, not yet. It just came in empty. Nope, that was not a fish, unfortunately. This is something she can do for fun as well. Oh, hold on, hold on. Go fishing again. Just going to put it on two this time instead of three. That way we can see it a bit better and it's not moving so quickly. Um, all right, so we do need to find that, that person. All right, go ahead and stop. You're good. You're good. All right, go ahead and just grill up. Do I really want to grill or do I want to just go back and grab something quick? Probably just going to grab a quick meal, to be honest. That way I don't have to worry about it. So go ahead and grab a quick meal of, grab a granola. Why not? Now, if you don't have outdoor retreat, you're not going to have the granola option because it does come with that. So if you don't have that, again, you're not going to have it. But this is kind of cool. She can just grab some granola out of there and she can just, you know, eat it. All right. Goopy, you're here. Well, we don't know all your traits, do we, Goopy? I don't think so, buddy. Ooh, um, big. <laughs> oh. No, we just know that you're good. So can we get to know you some more? And you want to hug oh. someone, so let's do that. Um, more Wilbur friendly. <laughs> what? He's a Mondra. slob. Oh gosh. Right. Speed you guys up. So we know he's good and slob. Alright. Go on vacation to Granite Falls? We could. You want to dance to stereo music? Okay. Um, go ahead and enthuse the outdoors. All right, go ahead and clean this up, please. Uh, that's not cleaning it up, but thanks anyways. Come on, clean it up. Thank you. Okay. So, we know that he's... <clears throat> a good and slob. The whole thing is, though, is he's probably not going to have the outdoor... Uh, loves the outdoors or whatever, because when we enthuse about it with him, he doesn't get anything from it. 
I think every day that you see them, you can uh, you can get to know them. I think it's only once a day, though. Like, I don't think I could do it again until I saw them on another day. Which is fine. Alright. Let's go ahead. We're gonna travel. We're not gonna go on vacation yet. Um, if she really wants to do that, we will. But, again, at this point in time, I'm not really gonna force it. 50, 25, 25. Okay. So, we're gonna go... She made some friends yesterday, so that's really good. She has some people that she can interact with, which is good. We're going to go to this park today and see if we can meet anybody new over here and see what we can come up with. Um, I think the best bet would for us to just get that 500 points and buy that thing so she learns all their traits automatically when she first introduces herself to them. Which would make our lives much easier, but you also have to have 500 points and we only have 135. So who's this? That's Cash. We could get to know Cash again. Um, I think, like I said, I think you can only get to know them once a day. So, like, tomorrow we could learn everyone else's traits. Like, all their traits. Alright, so go ahead and get to know him. Alright, he's mean. Okay, that's not very good. All right, what about you? Derek Light. All right, we're going to give you a friendly introduction. <coughs> Excuse me. And he's evil. All right, so I think we know all Cash's... Um, yeah, we know all of Cash's uh, traits. All right, this guy's not bad looking. He just looks sad. Otherwise, he's okay. All right, go One, ahead and... Two, not a drim. Scridge. Get to know him. Cheshire. That was not very nice of you to scream at us, but okay. You could ask about his day. He's a loner. Well, we're a loner, so... Okay. Everyone is screaming at her. Poor girl. Alright. Colby. Who's this? Juna. Or June. I don't think Malcolm loves the outdoors, so I'm not even going to worry about it. And he's also a teen. Not sure how long we want to wait for someone. All right, stop talking to these guys. They're just screaming at you, and it's just inappropriate. Right, he's a loner, so that did not really help me. But she wanted to dance to stereo music, so I do want her to do that. Is she singing? Yeah. She's very pretty, though. You could get to know Colby some more if you wanted. Just go ahead and start dancing, though. That way you get that taken care of, and that'll be good. Who's this? Nicole? Alright, he's childish. Alright, that's fine. Who's this? Is this an elder? Half the time, the people in my towns are elders, so it makes it really hard to meet anybody <clears throat> who's not. Alright, Jose? Alright, let's give him a friendly introduction. And that's an elder. So we don't want an elder. We want somebody better than that. Alright. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, how about him? What are we thinking? <clears throat> Is he... Loves the outdoors? Whoops. Um, okay, this lady is a little bit much in my ear. But that's fine. Go ahead and get to know him. Go ahead... <clears throat> Sorry about that. He's hot-headed. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bright in his day. Go ahead and... <clears throat> I don't know why she can't enthuse about the outdoors with anyone. I'm a little bit confused about that, but... You could do this. You could ask if he's single. Sometimes just going into the romantic interactions pops in something that they are. And these are the outdoors. <laughs> He's single. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm not really worried about it. Oh, Billy. <laughs> um. Ask what to say. Oh, you want to tell a joke? All right. Uh, more choices. Funny. Tell a joke about engineers. And you want to plant something. She's kind of frozen there, but she'll fix herself in just a second. There she goes. Sometimes it does that up from on my game. I don't know why, but it does. Lucas, okay, you're an elder. Not really, not really looking for elders, unfortunately. All right. 
Bing. Z. Let's see. So we know all your traits. Colby, we don't know one of yours. We don't know one of yours. I don't know. Can we at, Can we get to know you again? I don't know if it's like just a per conversation or if it's per day. I think it's per day. So we would have to wait until tomorrow. We didn't even get to... We didn't introduce ourselves to him. Oh, look. There's a lot of people over here. Who's this? An elder. I think we know Russell. I think that was the first person that we met. Yeah. And that's... All right. Okay, fine. All right, what about you? Wait, wait, wait. Nash? Okay, we know Nash, don't we? Do we know everything about Nash, though? No. We just know he's glutton. Okay, so come over here and let's um, be friendly. Let's get to know him. Let's go ahead and do that. And then you want to call someone on the phone? Okay, so we'll chat with Jacoby. That way you get that taken care of. All right. And you want to go to Granite Falls and plant something, so. Okay, well. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Jordan, we want to do a friendly introduction with you. All right, he's an art lover. Okay, we could deal with that. I mean, it's not, that's not a bad trait. Luca, I think we've already met you, Luca. No, we haven't. Okay, friendly introduction to Luca. Come on, everyone. We really don't want to talk to you, friend. All right. And we've already got... We already know Jose. All right, so let's meet you. Would like to get to know you. And the other thing I like to do with them is just enthuse about the outdoors with them and see if they go for it. If not, then it's most likely they're probably not in that. All right, come on, buddy. We want to do a friendly introduction, and I don't want to lose any of these other people. Maladay! <laughs> All right, can we enthuse about the outdoors with you? Skuma. Mm. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you know Nash is an art lover, glutton. I don't know anything about this guy. <clears throat> Get to know this man. Philbar. Oh, and Bora. Try to cheer up. Oh, he's sad. More choices. Friendly. Get to know him. Who's this? Oh goodness. Everyone. He's materialistic. Oh boy. Um. Give this guy a friendly introduction. There's a lot of guys around that I feel like I haven't met yet, so cool. that's good. He hates children. Mm. That doesn't really help me. All right, how about you, buddy? <laughs> dag, dag. Okay, um. Get to know him. I'd like to enthuse out the outdoors just to see, but I think you might have to know him a little bit more. Who's this buddy? An elder. I'm not really interested in knowing an elder. Alright, you learned he's a goofball. Um, right in his day. Uh, dudes out the outdoors. No, I don't want to stargaze. I don't want to stargaze. I want you to try and cheer him up and go ahead and enthuse out the outdoors. Brighten this guy's day. And let's see, can we enthuse out the outdoors with him? Uh, who's this? Alright, we don't know you. Give you a friendly instruction. Are you a teen? You are. Never mind. Are you a teen? No. What are we doing? <clears throat> are we enthused out the outdoors? Maybe. Not 100% sure. Um, uh -huh. special interests. Trying to get to find someone who loves the outdoors. It's all I want to do, and I don't really care what they look like, because like I said, I can always change their hair. I mean, their facial features have got to be okay. Not disgusting looking. But... <laughs> really not having the best luck with this. That's why it would be so much easier just to have that thing, you know. But right now she doesn't really want anything. Give him a friendly introduction. He's a teenager, but do it anyways. You could go ahead and get to know him if you wanted to. That guy's an elder. So I'm like, mm, not needed, you know. 
He's squeamish. That's one of the new traits. It's too funny. Um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who are you? Jonas, you're the first, I think, the first young adult that I've actually found that's a guy. So, come on. Let's talk to you. Please tell me you love the outdoors. Please just tell me you do. Give this guy a friendly introduction and stop chatting with Charles. No one cares about Charles anymore. He's a goofball. I'm just fine. Alright. Um, is he a bookworm? Okay, um, can you get to know him? Get to know. And give him a heartfelt compliment. Brighten his day. Get to know him some more. I don't know how I got that twice. He's non-committal. Oh boy. <laughs> I can work a bit if he loves the outdoors. Come on. Give it to me now. Deep conversation. Um, comp met his outfit. Go ahead and try and enthuse the outdoors. He's an art lover. Okay. Oh, Jarbin Decor. And he's creative. Okay, that's not gonna help. <sighs> Who are you? All right. Funny introduction. Where are you going? Come back. Come back. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Whoa. All right, fine. Yeah. Who's this? Travis. I don't think he likes outdoors. I really don't. I'm trying to go with somebody that you don't normally see in these LPs. So let's go with... Um, so far, we're just not finding anyone. But it's okay. We're working on it. We've got 235 points. So that's not too bad. We're almost halfway to getting that thing. And then we'll just learn people's traits like automatically. We just have to introduce ourselves to them and we'll know their traits. So that'll be fine. All right, I am going to go ahead and send you home. Oh. It's very late. <clears throat> it's 11 o'clock at night, so we'll get you home, we'll get you fed, get you to bed, and then tomorrow we'll go back out to a different lot again, and we'll just try and meet some more people. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know that? Oh, too late. <laughs> too late. It's really just about getting this person in here because while she's doing gardening, he's going to have to be doing fishing. So we're going to need the time for both of them. The sooner we can get the guy in here, I think the better off we'd be. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get you to eat. You could roast some marshmallows if you wanted to. Roast. Beetles, veggie dogs, hot dogs. Roast up, um, roast up a roasted, get a roasted fish, come on. I mean, you caught the fish for a reason, right? You might as well use it for your advantage. That way we don't have to pay for food. Right. She'll just do it like this. And it'll be good. All right, I'm going to speed her up while she does it, though. Literally just roasting fish. <laughs> and it gives her fun to play with the um, fire pits. That's cool. All right, so this is another way we could get some food without having to pay a lot for it. If we just keep catching fish, we could eat off of this, and that'd be fine. And then when you're done, go ahead and go to sleep. Yeah, you're not too exhausted. I mean, you're getting there, but you're not as exhausted as you were yesterday, which is good because I don't want you to be that exhausted. So really, it's, right now, we're just going to keep working on trying to find her husband, and we'll keep going from there. And hopefully soon, we'll find somebody for her. Hopefully. I'm hoping we will. I might just get rid of the, um, the grill but, I don't know, once we have a family, we might want it, you know? Especially because we have to have one girl and one boy. And in this game, it's not like it's a definite, okay, I'm going to have a boy this time, and then I'm going to eat watermelon and have girl next time. You can't do that in this one. You have to just kind of wait it out and see. So we may have ten kids before we actually have our boy and our girl. But we need to have the, that amount of kids anyways. So we might as well just try and get as much as we can and go from there. So we're going to go catch a, a fish again today, I think, for food. We're going to eat some granola for breakfast again, but tonight we're going to have another fish. All right, so let's just get you to speed up a bit. This way you just, you're just taking care of your needs, not anything too enticing. And then we can go from there. All right, so eat your granola, and then I'm going to have you fish for one fish. Yeah, she'll learn the fishing skill. So be it, you know. 
That way she'll at least have some food for tonight, which is good because we do need to have that. And then I'm not spending a whole ton of money on this too because when we do have kids, I do intentionally want to get them a house. Um, I don't know. We might live in tents for the generation. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but right now, it's we're living here. And we can get a double mattress too, like the air mattress that she has. So we'll probably do that. All right, and I'm going to have you travel again. All right, that's fine. You can collect those all you want. I'm fine with that as well. It's just an apple. So there you go. We got an apple. And it was it's for gardening, so it's one less thing we have to collect. All right, I think today we're going to go to the museum. That's where we're going to go. We're going to go to the museum. Here we go. And there's my timer. I don't want to go yet, but... I guess I have to. I'm just going to see who's here. See if we can meet some people. Get her lined up with some people to introduce herself to. And then we can go from there. She's also been popping in um, playing instrument. So I was kind of thinking maybe. What happened to your hair? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what happened to your hair? <laughs> Alright. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of people here yet. But. Um, yeah. There's like a destitute area around here right now. I don't know what's going on. Where is everyone? The zombie apocalypse has happened happened now and <laughs> there's no people alive. <laughs> Alright, fine. Instead, why don't you um visit the gym? See if there's anyone here. I just want to get her so that she can meet a couple people, get to know some more traits, but but we weren't going to meet anyone there. <laughs> there was nobody there. And it wasn't even like people were join like coming down the road to join in on that lot. It was like no one wanted to go there. <laughs> they were giving up on that lot. All right. So there are some people in here. Let's see. Who haven't we met? Who have we met? Don Lothario. Uh, again, I just want to meet some people that we don't already know. Jonas John. I think we know everything about you, don't we? Let me look. Jonas. Yeah, we know everything about you. Who are you? All right, we don't know you, so we'll give you a friendly introduction. We know Jordan. We could, um, Jordan, what do we know about you? You're materialistic. Okay, before you meet this guy, let me go ahead and get you in here. Why don't you go ahead and get to know him some more? See if maybe it pops in. I don't know. And if you can, go ahead and enthuse out the outdoors, maybe? Ask about his day. It's no friendly introduction. He's neat. Okay, that could be useful. I mean, I don't have a problem with someone being neat. Jordan is materialistic and neat. That's what we know about him so far. Alright, and he's outgoing. So that's not going to work. Alright, this is what I want to do. I want to set her up so that she just gets to know him three times. So get to know him. Go ahead and tell him a funny story. Um, go ahead and get to know him again. Go ahead and brighten his day. And then get to know him. And we'll see if that pops in. Hopefully it works that way. Alright, who is this? He's a snob. Okay. Okay. I just want to get to know their three traits. That's all I want to do. And if this works this way, then it'll be a lot easier. We won't have to worry about it. Alright, let's see. Is it working? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> He's family oriented. Yeah, it is working. So this is pretty cool. So if I stop it like that, I can get to know all their traits in one day. Which is kind of nice. And last one, get to know... Cool. He is gloomy. All right, well, he's not going to work then either. Man, come on. Who are you? Emmett. Okay, we're going to meet Emmett. I'm just going to finish off with Emmett today, and then we'll start up with the another set of people in the next one. Really, I just want to get her to know these people. I just want her to meet that person that is going to work for us, or I don't know. We might have to do something else. All right, let's see. Go ahead and get to know. Go ahead and heartfelt compliment. Uh, get to know him again. Uh, ask about his day. 
and then get to know him the last time. And once you do this, then I'll end it if it's not the right person. All right, let's see. It's a little bit loud, friends. Who's that guy? William. Let's give a friendly introduction to him. All right, you're a geek. I'm going to speed her up through this. He's self-assured. And he is clumsy. Well, that's not going to work then, is it? Jeez. Oh, All right, well, we're going to chat with William in the next episode, see if he is maybe the one. We know Jose. I think we know everything about Jose. I think. Where is Jose? No, we don't. Jose, I want to get to know you some more. More friendly. Get to know. Um. Alright, William's here, but you're not talking to him. Friendly introduction, please. Come on. Get William in here. He's romantic. Alright, well, that's fine. Jose, you can be romantic all you want to be, buddy. Can't be with us. I know I said I was going to go. I'm going to wait. Just, I want to know about this guy, and then I'll go. Ah, oh, there's just so many people. It's really hard to get to know him. I don't know. Friendly introduction to this guy. Come on. All right, can you talk with him now? Yeah. All right, go ahead and get to know him. Where is it? Mm, get to know. You can go ahead and gossip. Go ahead and get to know him one more time. This is a flaw in the system. <laughs> um, let's see. Get to know some more. All right. I'm going to speed her up through this. All right. Come on. He's neat. All right. Let's see. Where is he? I don't see him. Just neat, materialistic is all we know. Must be she didn't want to get the third trait? I guess not. Alright guys, well I'm going to go ahead and end it here. We've got another guy here that we can meet. Hopefully, maybe soon we'll find somebody with that trait. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure there's other people out here that we still need to meet. So, like this guy, Jim, we can give him a friendly introduction. Um, so we'll be keep we'll keep meeting some more people. I do buy the her fifteenth day of her like when she has fifteen days until she's an adult. I do by then want to have someone in the house with us and be married. Maybe expecting the first per the first baby. I don't know. Um, I don't want to wait around a long time, but we do have to find someone with the loves the outdoors trait, which is not very easy to do. Um, it's very time consuming and it takes a long time to uh, figure it all out. But hopefully soon we'll have someone that we we like and hopefully they're not very ugly <laughs> because I would like someone who, you know, has some potential to make some very cute kids. So hopefully we'll get that and then we'll start in on the garden after that. Um, I do want her to meet all these guys which I've lined up for her so by the time I come back we'll know what she's still working on. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed that we can find someone um, and then we're going to start the garden and he's going to do the fishing because that's what they need to do. Um, she has to get every single plant. And as you know, the outdoor tree added some new plants to it. So we have to get those as well. So we are going to have to go on vacation to Granite Falls. But I was kind of thinking doing it as a honeymoon kind of thing. That would be kind of cute. And uh, we could go over there and have our honeymoon over there and all that. But again, at this point, it's just like, got to, you know, hold off until we find that guy. Um, so that's what we'll be working on. If you guys like this and enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that follow button, leave a comment, everything like that. Um, also in the description below, there is a donation link if you'd like to donate to my channel. Um, all the donations go towards a new computer that I'm building. Or if a new expansion for The Sims 4 or something like that comes out, I use it to get that so I can show it off to you guys and... Um, yeah, so again, guys, thank you guys so much. Also, in the description below is also um, my Twitter and Twitch um, links. So if you'd like to follow me on them, that'd mean a lot. And I'll talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.